tastes like black tea. Like I'm chewing black tea. Yeah, just think about that. Disgusting. Hey guys, it's L2. What to do? Because I'm back with another video. And today it's L2 Reviews where I was my money so you guys don't have to. Just for that, you guys should subscribe. Yeah, you already know. So today's video is going to be rating the top boba. Boba? Yeah. In my area. I just call it bubble tea, honestly. Also, check out my sweater from Zara's bubble tea inspired, you know. Same color, I thought. It worked well together. Anyways. So I have three different bubble teas here. One's from Real Fruit. The next is from Coco. And then the last one's from Chat Time. So I've seen people do these reviews before and they've usually just done like the two places, but around where I live, I have all three in the close vicinity. And you also have like Kung Fu tea, I think. Yeah, but I left that one out because I feel like most people go to these three and they all are actually priced around the same amount, but they're not the same, which I didn't realize until I bought all three. But I have the receipts here just to let you guys know the prices are different and it makes no sense. You're probably wondering why this one is bigger. Um, Coco does have a smaller size, but there's a promotion, which is like... 450 for the larger size and she's like it's cheaper than buying a smaller size right now i'm like well i might as well buy the bigger size because aside from me making this video coco is high key my favorite one i've tried all of them and i like coco the best so just to give you guys a sense of how much all of this costs i didn't keep the receipts because i got to chat time which was the last place and i was like oh my god i throw every single receipt then i realized my banking app has all the prices yeah, so I was gonna say Tim Hortons, that was my breakfast. Um, Coco charged me $5.08 for this, their promotion. So, regular price, their milk tea, I think, was $4.50 or less than that for the smaller size. So, real fruit for their regular milk tea and regular price, no promotion, was $4.19 after tax. And then, chat time. For the smallest size, regular price, $5.99. $5.99. And I'm pretty sure uh, Chat Time charges for uh, tapioca. So I think that's why their price is higher. But I never realized that Chat Time was so expensive, which is why I stopped going there. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so at first glance, I would say. Honestly, I would say that Coco looks the best. <laughs> Not because I like them the most, but it does. Um, Real Fruit didn't have pearl milk tea. They only had black tea. Which, I don't know if the guy didn't understand me, but yeah, he said there was just the regular one is black tea. So I'm like, okay, just give me that. Tell me why the ice already melted in this one. There's no ice left. These two ice is still strong. Standing in the drink. The drinks are cold. This one... It's not, so they already lost points for that. Um, oh, sorry. So I think I'm going to try for my first drink, I'm going to try Coco. Oh my God, I'm always scared to like make it explode on me, but. Mmm. Stir it all up. So yeah, this is their regular pearl milk tea. So good. Regular everything. Didn't ask for nothing different. Usually I do get half a tapioca though. And so I'm like, let me just do a full tapioca for every single drink. So, you know, it's fair. This is so good. I'm definitely finishing this one. Yeah. Honestly, the sugar in this is good. Great, actually. It's great. Like, I don't feel like it needs anything. Only thing that I sometimes add, though, is different types of jelly, but 
it doesn't even need that like this by itself is so good it's sweet enough strong enough it just does the job creamy enough like nothing's lacking i feel like this is gonna be better i just have a feeling mm. okay so after trying this out of 10 i rate this a 8 out of 10 yeah, I rate this an 8 out of 10 because high key it could be better if I added like different jellies and stuff. But for it just being a classic milk tea, it's doing the job. So I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. My ratings might change after I try everything, but we're gonna start there. So on to the next one. So now we're gonna try the real fruit milk tea. Um, this one is oh, they didn't even put a sticker on it. Anyways, I told you guys, this one's the black milk tea original. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just the original milk tea. And regular tapioca in it as well. I really am confused why there's no ice there. Like, I don't know what they did to make that happen. Oh, definitely used the wrong straw. But anyways. Okay. Oh, let's try this. ice in it it's watered down so i guess the ice melted Ooh, even the tapioca is bad the tapioca honestly tastes like nothing it's not even sweet it tastes like black tea like i'm chewing black tea yeah just think about that disgusting the whole thing is watered down which makes sense why there's no ice because the ice melted but no, honey, this is just black tea. Not even sweetened well black tea. No. It's not. No. No. This is not worth it. I paid, what, $4.19 for this? No. They're robbing people. Honestly, I give this a 4 out of 10. Not even mediocre, like they're not even hitting a five. It's less than mediocre. This is not okay. Highway robbery. Oh, and I knew it just by the way it was looking black. It's doing nothing for me. Literally nothing. Ugh, yeah. Chat, chat. what is it? Real fruit? I knew it wasn't going there for a reason. I didn't know why I haven't been there so long, but now I do. Terrible. Hmm. Okay. Moving on to the last one, which is chat time. Honestly, the color of chat time is closer to cocos. Like they're both lighter. So hopeful that that's good. This is also a pearl milk tea. Maybe that's why real fruit was so bad because it was the regular black tea. But I literally said, you guys don't have pearl milk tea. And he's like, no. So. That's their own fault for not having that. But yeah, so this is a regular pearl milk tea from Chat Time, regular everything, and I added tapioca. Okay. Spin this around. Oh! Okay, first their tapioca tastes like flowers. It's giving like Earl Grey. It really is giving Earl Grey. It's regular pearl milk tea. But the milk is weird. It tastes like almond milk. That is so weird. Okay, that is so weird. Both of these are pearl milk teas, but they taste completely different. This tastes like Earl Grey milk tea.
This tastes like regular milk tea, like how you would expect it to taste, like creamy milk tea. This has like a kick of something that I don't think I like. No, it has an aftertaste, that's what it is. Chat Times has an aftertaste and I don't know what that is, but it's not good, it's not doing it for me. Oh my god, that is weird. Like I feel like they tried to do something, maybe that's why they're more expensive, there might be an ingredient I just don't know about, but it's not it, it's not it, no. So oh, I'll have to rate it though. So out of everything, I give this I give this a 7. A 7 out of 10. Because for me, I don't know if people like the taste of that, but for me, I don't like that aftertaste. Don't like whatever they put in there to make it taste like that. But it wasn't terrible. Like, taste-wise, way better than real fruit. Real fruit just is... Where, no, I can't even believe they made that. Disgusting. But yeah, so taste wise, definitely better than real food. But overall, cocoa beats them all like, huh. Cocoa is winning. They're winning. This is so good. Literally worth the money. I'm finishing this. It's gonna be a good day, but. Yeah. But overall, I know that I will only be going to Coco from now on. Nobody else compares, but I've been new this because I only go to Coco, and I didn't know why that was. I just stopped going anywhere else, but it makes sense now because they truly are the best one. Coco is the best bubble tea. I'm seeing it right now. Period. Unless you know those little like smaller places or like the bougier ones, I have tried those downtown, like. Those are good too, can't even lie. But cocoa to real fruit to chat time? I'm sorry, cocoa's winning. They're winning. They got the secret recipe, I don't know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this vid. If you guys have any more ideas for videos you want me to do, comment them down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.